The community of Belaral went out in their numbers on Sunday evening to search for fellow villager Vivian Felix, affectionately known as Buck, after he didn't return from an early morning mountain expedition. 52-year-old Buck's motionless body was discovered pinned under a fallen tree in an area in Felix Park, St. Andrew, where he set out to work that morning. Details around the incident suggest that the man was cutting down the tree when he met his demise. Ken Martin Whiteman a long-standing friend of the deceased said he became concerned after he did not hear from Buck nor did he show up to finalize a planned cook organized among the fishing friends. Considering that Felix took an unusual amount of time before returning, Whiteman and another friend decided to go search for the missing man, after which he discovered the lifeless body of his friend. He tells the story. Well, we reached in the garden and we called and we didn't get a response from him. We saw his container with the food and everything else on the stone. And I asked the other guy to go right while I go left. And at the same time, I looked to the top of the land and I saw a tree, a fallen tree. And I find it kind of suspicious that there would be a fallen tree with all the branches cut and everything like that. So I rushed up to the top. And when I got to there, I saw the chainsaw under the tree. And then I saw him pinned on the ground. Um, pinned on the ground and obviously um, dead. So it seems that if it happened pretty early in the day. So I called the family, I called the police, I arranged for the doctor, and then um, they all converged on the property and that's basically it, you know. Um, we, we mourn the loss of Buck. A huge kakoli tree. I think um, he, he misjudged the direction that the tree was going to fall. He was expecting the tree to fall up, so he went and went down. But the tree, instead of falling up, fell down and probably didn't give him enough time to escape. According to members of the community, the whole village of Bel Isle went up to Felix Park to visit Buck after hearing he was found without knowing of his actual condition. Though they were in a solemn mood on Monday, they all band together sharing memories and stories of Felix. Every villager shared the sentiment that he was a genuine and hardworking man who would be greatly missed by all. Well, since I know myself, you can yell at me. So since I know myself, I know that man, you know. And we grew up together. We go fishing together, you know what I mean? He's a man on the around, he's a man on the block, you know what I mean? He's a very, very nice fella. Nobody can say nothing bad about a man, you know what I mean? The man's a real nice man, I'm telling you. We go fishing together, you know? Be honest with you, up now, I don't believe the man dead yet, you know? Because I didn't really see him, you know? I don't believe the man dead yet. I'm telling you, because that, watch. Up to now, I'm telling you, my heart, watch, cry. A real crying thing yesterday, a real crying thing. I don't afraid to say that real crying thing, you know what I mean? I came from church, I was flatting the cousin here, right? Here. And not even serve a boot, like half an hour. I finished bloody here, they get a phone call that he meet up in the night to get to the garden. Then after the same man called back and he said, he talked to my aunt and he said, I didn't, he didn't want to tell them that so far they could panic, but the man did already. So he took a ride and he went to the But honestly, when I went by the tree, I found a stomach to see how he lied down there. I just started to cry and then I just go aside. Let me come on One blood. Yeah. What about you? You can come back. The wife of Felix, who was still in a state of shock when GBN visited, opted not to speak on camera. However, she told GBN she was at work when she heard of the death of her husband, with whom she shares a daughter. The incident remains under investigation. For GBN News, Beverly Tellisford.